Okay, what's your full name? Hey everybody, Gadzi here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well, and I hope life is treating you well. I'm just doing a little bit of gardening today. As you can see, the sunflowers are looking awesome. They're starting to grow heaps. I'll just get out of here. So yes, the veggie patch is just going off its chain. So I had a disaster. I uh, did a video showing some of the um, veggies that are grown and I picked a few things like some of my beans and some of my cucumbers and I made some dishes with them but when I was cleaning up my hard drive from a previous uh, prospecting video I deleted all those clips of that video and I don't have any backup of it so that is lost to the uh, ether so that's a real bummer because the dish that I had made was really good so yeah um, today I'll see if I can get some beans because I've pretty much picked the plants all clean but if not there's a whole bunch of other vegetables that I can show you that are just uh, everything's just grown heaps so I'll show you a bit more now the tomato plant is going nuts there's so much damn tomatoes on these things they haven't ripened yet but this thing is as tall as me now it's yeah going crazy my chili plant here is starting to produce uh, little chilies my cucumbers i've already picked about five of these and they're all like huge they're massive and it's still producing more of them I'm getting a bit concerned I have too many cucumbers. My watermelon's in amongst there somewhere. It's kind of going all right. Um, my carrots, they're going all right. I picked some of these in the past and made um, some sushi with them. My silver beet, I've kind of just left that uh, to the wayside. All my lettuce I pulled because they had uh, bolted and they were like Christmas trees. My beans, my beans were producing heaps I picked about oh, two two big container fulls of beans now I've only got a few strugglers left so I don't think I'll have much more from these uh, beans now there's still a few there but nothing uh, huge so I'll pick the remaining beans off this my other chili plant is yeah it's producing a few chilies now I don't know whether to pick these or not because it's just not really doing much. I think the um, the tomato plant's blocking a lot of the sunlight, so yeah, I'm not having much luck. Oh, I see some. I see tomatoes. Oh, I'm going to grab them. Oh yeah. Um, the eggplant is uh, going good. It's got a lot of fruit, but there's they're not really moving either. Oh, hang on. Yeah. They're not really moving, so I might uh, pick some of these and see how they look. <laughs> see this damn sunflower? It's huge. It's it's like about 10 inches taller than me, and yeah, it's massive. That's the biggest one. The sunflowers, I am a bit... Um, I don't know what to think of these because they were supposed to be big head um, sunflowers and they're just multiple uh, head uh, sunflowers. So what I think's happened is that the seeds were mixed up in the packet and they put the wrong seeds in the packet. So I'm a bit bummed about that. Now the zucchini, my God, look at this thing. It is huge. I've never grown a plant that big before and it's just going all across the whole of this it's gone underneath the um the wiring there they're just going crazy and there's a huge huge zucchini there so i'm going to pick that today um the cabbages they're not doing much at all and it looks like there's a whole bunch of yuck inside of these so they're not they're not looking very um like they're going to be very productive the basil well that um that one basil has taken over this whole pot i've got a bit of dill there a little bit of dill 
might be able to do something with that. But yeah, I've been using this basil on a few different dishes. I might do something with the basil with the tomatoes. Kyle squash. It did produce a few little squashes, but they're like this size, man. Look how big they are. They're tiny. Um, so yeah, they're not very productive. I think I should have had them in a bit more sunlight. But it's still producing some, so yeah. I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, everything's going off its chain. The dill and the chives that I planted last video, they're kind of going all along well. I've got some capsicums growing. I'll probably pick one of these today. Got one here, one there. Two here, another one there. So yes, we've got a lot of things uh, growing. So what I think I might do is I'll pick one of these cucumbers and I might do some of these carrots as well. Um, I'll pick that zucchini and one of these capsicums and some um, basil and those tomatoes down there. And we'll see what we can make from all that. And I think I might, I might do a quick little clean around here. It's, it's looking a little bit overgrown at the moment. But yeah, it's not really inhibiting everything growing. It doesn't seem to be bothering everything else around here. So yeah, I might just give it a quick whippersnip and yeah, that's about it really. this before doing this video but that's a bit clean there right so I'm gonna pick some of these uh, cucumbers which is this giant stonking cucumber look at that I'll get some of these uh, carrots the ones that I picked were all um, kind of yeah a bit warped you'll see in a second what they look like they're, they're funky looking once I get some now because yeah I think they're not going to grow much more and because they're not really getting much um, water now with all these other plants around them So look at those babies, they're all freaky looking things. This one especially. This one's like um, cuddling other carrots, but they taste pretty damn good. We also have potatoes here, so I might uh, pull some of these out and see how they look. I don't know how well these are gonna taste, but we'll see in a minute. Oh, look at that one, jeez. Decent sized potatoes here. That one can go back in. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of potatoes. I might keep the smaller ones for um, replanting. Good thing about potatoes is you can just put them back in the ground and they'll start sprouting again. So I'll put the smaller ones in. Let them grow. Get some of these weeds 
tap while some heat. I'm here. I'll pick some of those tomatoes. Ah, yeah, look at that baby. Oh, that smell of fresh tom tomatoes off the vine, there's nothing like it. Now I'll pick some of these beans. What's left of them? That was so good, these beans. Oh my god. I can't believe how many came off these vines because yeah they're still producing too I can see a few little flowers here and there but something's come along and um, had a go at a couple of them like the end one here's been chewed up by something I haven't got any slugs or anything here anymore it's a bit too hot for slugs now but um yeah look at the size of that boy I've got more beans here. There's a few more on the vine. I'll let them grow a bit longer. It's looking like we've got a fair bit already. Now for my zucchini. That thing is a monster. All right, cut it at the stem. Wow, that's damn good. Oh, yeah, look at the golden color. Get this little capsicum. I've never grown capsicums um, myself because they've always been unsuccessful, but look at that. Yeah. I think that's everything for now. Oh, I've got to pick some basil. Then uh, I'll do something with these veggies. I don't know exactly what. So I'll go pick some basil. Just a little bit. Not like I, I'm really uh, struggling to not have many. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. And yeah, we'll have a look at our our big hoard of food. Look at all that. We've got carrots, beans, tomatoes, potatoes, cucumber, zucchini, capsicum. Yeah. So um, what I'm going to do is I'll clean all these up and then we'll try and make something out of some of these things. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, we've got the basil as well. So yeah, I've got to do something with some of these things. I don't know exactly what I will and will not cook, but uh, yeah, I'll do that soon. So I'll, I'll see you in the, in the kitchen, yeah. Here's all the veggies that are all cleaned up now. We've got the carrots, the cucumber, the potatoes, the beans. The tomatoes and the huge zucchini so I'm now going to try and make something with some of these ingredients and we'll, we'll work something out. Here's all the ingredients for the first part of this meal, a potato salad. Homegrown potatoes, spring onions, celery, dill, sour cream, kewpie mayonnaise, a bowl and a spoon. First we need to boil the potatoes. Chuck the potatoes in the water. We've got the garlic, here we go. First add the sour cream. A couple of dollops, maybe too much. Then add the cupy mayonnaise, a fair dose of it. I'm going by R with the proportions here. Some garlic, a couple of teaspoons of that. The dill. Mix it all together. Stir, 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 mix and mix and mix. Till it's smooth. And we set that aside. Now for the next salad. A Greek salad. We have feta tomatoes, some of our cucumbers, some dressing, and a bowl. It's pretty simple. Just add the feta, the tomatoes, the cucumber, 
and the dressing. Normally I put onion and olives into this dish as well, but I forgot those. Set that aside. Now the ingredients of the zucchini fritters. Shredded zucchini with the water removed, flour, a cup, two eggs, garlic, a big bowl and a small bowl. The zucchini in the bowl, a couple of dollops of garlic, some tasty cheese which I forgot to mention, a couple handfuls of that. Put in a cup and a half of flour, crack the eggs in, start stirring it, add some water and mix that till it's smooth. Then we stir the zucchini, cheese and garlic mix and mix that all together. Damn, I have too much mixture. Damn! Ah! Now for the potato salad. Put the potatoes in the bowl, the celery, spring onions, and the dressing. I probably had too much dressing for this dish, but I was going by eyes, so yeah. Just stir it around, set it aside. Now to fry the fritters. Just get a fry pan, add some oil, and put it on high heat. Now put the mixture in the fry pan with a ladle, let it fry for a bit. Flip it. Look how golden brown that is. Mm. Flip it again. Mm. Mm, yum yum. Now take it off the fry pan and there you go. That's the dish.